こんにちは、くにくです。Let's make Viking swords. You will need two square sheets, any size between six and twelve inches. And if you don't have a square sheet, you can do it from your notebook paper or printer paper by folding the corner to triangle. Make a fold and cut on the edge of the triangle right here. So go ahead and cut it and then bring two sheets. Let's start out from the braid. To make a origami braid, we have to cut the square sheet in half. So I'm folding it in half. To rectangle to prepare cutting. So I fold very heavily with my nail, with my pencil, put my weight on it, sharp and strong crease. Open it and then reverse the fold. If you have a scissors handy, just go ahead and cut in half on that pleasing line, but I'm trying to do without the scissors. Let's see how it goes. A fold and then press and then press, fold it in half, go back and forth. Then now you are able to do it without the scissors. Let's do it by hand. In the middle, put your finger on it and just to start rip a little bit, one or half inch by half inch. Well, one, one inch by one inch. Just a little by little, patiently. You can put a moisture,、uh, like a, a, a drip, drip of water. And if you wet it, the paper is easier to rip. But I'm gonna do it dry. I can do it. And here. Great. And put One sheet aside,、uh, you don't need this anymore, just one half piece for the braid. Here we go. White side up and fold in half, long side to the top, long side. Make a sharp crease. Using nail, unfold it and turn the model to the tall rectangle. And from that tall rectangle top corner, fold the triangle to the center vertical crease and do the same way from the opposite side so that you have the triangle rooftop. Tall building, like that is the top of the braid. And then turn the model to the side way. Now it's like an arrow. And from the bottom, and keep that、uh, triangle folded. And from the bottom, fold the long bottom edge to the center horizontal crease. And then fold it tight. Slide your fingers and nails. I'm going to use pencil and really flat and heavy crease. Do it twice, three times. So that's really, really strong,、uh, strong crease. And from the bottom. You will do the same bottom to the same center crease right here. It's becoming thinner and it's harder, but let's try to make it as, as precise as possible and make the sharp crease with your nail going back and forth. Use the side of the nail and use the pencil. 
very good. And you will do the same thing to the top part. So turn it upside down and do exactly the same you just did. So from the bottom corner to the center horizontal crease and make a sharp crease. Repeat that. Use the pencil. That works really well. And the bottom folded edge will be folded to that center horizontal creasing line again. And now that is the braid. It's done. So let's make the sharp crease to the whole thing. The part of blade is done. Good job. Next, let's do it to the hilt, like the handle of the sword. Grab a pencil and grab another square sheet of paper, the second one. And let's get started by folding square to triangle. Fold it in half to a triangle. Unfold it. And the bottom diagonal part will be folded to the center vertical crease, like that. And it looks like a kite shape. Let's do it one by one. From the right bottom diagonal, should be folded to the center crease and start from the very, very bottom. I think that helps. Little by little, up, all the way. And one side is done. Let's do the opposite side the same way. Here's a left bottom diagonal folded from the bottom. And fold little by little to the top. And you made a kite shape. For the next, turn the model over to the back side and use your pencil and also the sword blade part. And next step, Use both of them. Put the sword you made in the center and mark the center vertical line of the both of the kite and the braid. The center vertical line goes from top to the bottom, just like this. And align the both pieces in the center with that uh, center vertical line, just like this. And just imagine it's glued, it's not moving, and it's matched forever. And using your pencil, draw, let's draw together, draw the side of the braid. I got it, this side done. And then let's draw again to the opposite side. Please draw together. You will need this line. Stay your finger in the center so the sword blade is not moving left and right. And then here's the two lines you have. In the next step, you will need this line. So you will crease right on the line. And to do so, I place my pencil on the line and 
press the paper so that you can make a very precise creasing line according to the, the drawing line you just created. And let's do the opposite side. Here's a pencil, and I'm going to try that again. Put my pencil right on the drawing line and then make a little pinch from the side. Little by little, one inch by one inch, so that the pinches are everywhere on the line. And use that pinch spot and make the crease. Feel the pinch and do little by little and sometimes check the line inside to make sure it's right on the penciled line. That was tricky. You can do Another way, here's another idea. If this was too difficult, this might help. Place the blade in the very center and the kite part will be folded according to the edge of the blade. And when you take that off, you have a soft crease. That's good. Let's get back to the kite part. And for the next, the bottom triangle tip will be folded to the uh, middle of the triangle and the diagonal side will be folded aligned with the center triangle let's see from the bottom it will match the line when you fold it from the side let's do the same thing from the opposite side the side diagonal will be aligned with the middle triangle edge, the side. Please notice the layers is not overwrapped. It's aligned between the shapes. Turn it over to the back side after you make all the crease very flat and sharp. We were almost done. So here's uh, almost the last step. Use the crease. It's already there. Soft crease you made before with the draw drawing line you made. And make, make that fold. And as you do that, get the little triangle flap out. Let's do the opposite side, same manners, and use that soft crease and then let the side triangle flap out. Just like that. And the lines doesn't have to match exactly. And then here's the next step. Here's a top layer, and then here's a second layer. It has a little triangle pocket right here. And then put the top flap, top layer, to into that pocket. So this hilt, the sword handle part, is now secured. It's not unfolding. And it just itself looks like a whole sword, but this is only the handle hilt. So let's do the next part. Corner from left to the right, you will fold according to that imaginary line and fold the, fold the top down. And here's a little pocket again. Let's put that top part into the pocket. It's actually both sides pocket. So I will place the whole thing inside of the pocket. And the handle, the hilt, is done. 
all you have to do is put the braid inside. Yes, your Viking sword. Are you ready to decorate that? Have fun!